Hello, welcome into Math 264. Let me double check the settings real quick. Good, volume is working. Uh, my name is Clayton Ragsdale. Um, you guys can call me Clay, that's fine. I teach two sections of 264. This is fall 2022. We got a 7 a.m. course on Tuesday, Thursday. It'll be early for all of us. And a 3 p.m. course on Wednesday, Friday. All right, so if you're watching this, if you're in my class, great. If you're not, um, if you're in someone else's class, also great. If you're taking it online, I'll discuss the differences between the on-ground, which is what I'm teaching, and the online version as much as I can. Right? This is just going to be used as an intro to the syllabus um, and a little bit of halo. As far as my background, um, my undergraduates are in mathematics and economics from Chapman, if anyone's from Orange County. Uh, my master's is from GCU, it's mathematics with an emphasis in teaching, and I am beginning uh, the PhD program over at ASU in applied mathematics. Uh, as far as teaching background, I've taught at GCU, I've taught at Paradise Valley Community College, uh, those are the two schools predominantly. So just a little bit of background about me before we begin, and we will jump right into finding the syllabus. So. If you're already used to Halo, you know exactly where to go, or not really. Sometimes it's for, we forget that they hide it a little bit on the side here. All right, so there is this option here. Once you've logged into Halo, on the left-hand side, there's a syllabus. I'm not going to download it, but it's right here for you to download. I already have it up here. And I will open up the syllabus. So again, we'll go through the syllabus. It is very long. I'm not going to go through it each and every step. I will cover it as much as we need. So first, let's talk about well, what is this course? Hopefully, you're in the right spot. This is Calculus for Science and Engineering 2. Now, what should be noted, if you're watching from the outside on YouTube and not a part of GCU, is that at GCU, we do two semesters of calculus. And this is geared for engineering, right? So instead of having a typical Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3 series, since it is geared towards engineer, engineers, plural, uh, we've sh condensed it into two se a two-sequence class, course, class, doesn't matter, um, in which we do Calc 1, Calc 2, and Calc 3. So it's a very fast-paced course. For this course, it will predominantly be Calculus 3. Uh, towards the beginning here, we'll talk about some Calc 2 subjects. Um, I will make videos for all of the topics and I will label them so if you're watching from the outside um, or if you're watching GCU it's nice to know which ones you're watching so I'll do all the different topics that we cover in this class again starting from the back end of what is typically Calc 2 uh, moving all the way through Calc 3 okay so it says this course provides a rigorous treatment of concepts methods of integral multivariable and vector calculus and its application to the real world Prerequisite is 262, and if you're from GCU, you know that. Um, I'm not sure if you're transferring in typically. I mean, if you have already taken a typical Calc 1, Calc 2 sequence, you're definitely prepared. The only pitfall might be you haven't used MATLAB or programming language yet, so be careful of that. If that is the case for you, let me know. Um, my instructor contact information. So again, I'm Clayton Ragsdale. You can call me Clay. Uh, it's going to be changing, so I'm going from adjunct to full-time, in which the one here will go away and the my here will go away, so this will actually become easier, just clayton.ragzil at gcu.edu. Uh, we'll talk about where the class resources are on Halo. So as I just mentioned, um, there will be MATLAB. I know it's not a programming language, we'll call it a programming software. Um, you do get a free license to download this, so I'll probably make a video for you guys to know how to download. Um, it's fairly easy, right? Please download it, it's free. The online version, I know it's nice to not download it. The online version, uh, sometimes there's some syntax differences. Right? So it, it's a little just easier for us to just download it. If you do have some hardware issues, just let me know. Uh, there is a tutorial, so if you totally forgot everything from 262 and you need to go back through, maybe the tutorial might be good for you to watch. 
the answer keys for the projects are for me. So we know the answer or the answer keys, the projects are worth 14% of your grade. Right? So the first one is worth 40 points, the next two are worth 50 points, and the entire class is out of 1,000 points. So 14% of your entire grade is the projects. And we will discuss those more in class as they approach. I'm not gonna just leave you guys to do them on your own with no explanation of what we're doing. So we will go through part of those in class. We don't need to worry about the instructor slides. Something to mention, discussion questions. If you're taking this with me on ground or on ground in general, you do not do the discussion questions. They're not needed, not, not, uh, they are worth looking at, but because it is such a fast paced condensed course, uh, I don't focus on the discussion questions. They are, they are worth zero points. However, if you are taking the online version, they are worth points. So definitely worth watching. Definitely worth, worth watching. Mm, no, doing. I had something else in my mind. Okay, moving forward. Uh, I will show you where this is in Halo, but we will be using Calculus Early Transcendentals by Stewart, the ninth edition. You also get this for free. Um, many of you will avoid opening the textbook for the entire course. Please don't do so. Use it as a resource. It is very useful. Um, feel free to ask me if there's other questions in there that you want to know how to do. You can ask those as well. Now again, as I mentioned, this syllabus is very lengthy because it goes through each one of the topics for the entire course. So you'll notice here, topic one gives a title and it has the objectives or goals that we want to accomplish once we are through this section, right? So you can feel free to read these. Um, I'm not going to read these individually because it's going to go through the entire course. It does say maybe what to reference in the textbook, right? Resources. If you're doing week one, maybe it might be smart to go read chapter 10, 10.1 to 10.4. Notice here in week two, we don't do all of chapter 11. Again, this is geared towards um, engineering majors. I believe there are computer science people as well in the course, uh, but we're not covering each and every section, right? Class introductions, I will make time on the first day for you guys to do those. The homework is worth 25 points. I believe for online it is worth 20, but for on ground it is 25 points for each homework, uh, which comes up to about, not about, it comes to 36% of your grade. So 36% of your grade is homework that is done in Derivida, right? So we will go through Derivida also in class, so if you haven't used Derivida, it's okay. Um, exams are also going to be through Derivida. Once we get to one, I'll, I'll talk about that more. Uh, topic two, right, it talks about the objectives, what sections to read, right, homework, there is homework for every topic, or every week, let's say, every week there is a homework that is due. Um, I have a Tuesday, Thursday course and a Wednesday, Friday course. We'll talk about the due dates of homework and how that will work in class. Here's our first project, again, it's in MATLAB, worth 40 points. Please download it, again, MATLAB is free. Discussion questions, again, not for us necessarily. We can look at them if we have time. Topic three, again, resources on what to read. Uh, exam one, so there's two parts here. Let's talk about both. So for each exam, they will give you a practice exam. Again, this is also in Derivida. Uh, it would be smart to do it for the first reason that it's worth points, so you don't wanna lose points. And for the second reason that you could use it as a mirror of where you are at and how prepared you are for the exam. Typically in the practice exams, it will be similar to the exam as far as questions or question styles or content that you should know. So I would say absolutely get this done and I would say do it as far ahead of time as possible so you know what you need to review. Uh, exam one, it gives all the dates here as well. Now if you're a Tuesday, Thursday course and Wednesday, Friday, those dates are gonna differ a little bit depending on when we're in class. The exams are in class, I should mention discussion questions, partial derivatives. And uh, I think that might be it. As far as right, another practice exam, exam two, that's always the case. So again, feel free to read this at your own pace. I'm just scrolling through to make sure I'm not missing any other details. And I'll kind of do a review, right? So again, let me just scroll to the top. 
So again, projects are worth 14%, three of them. First one's worth 40 points, next two are worth 50 points, right? All of them are done in MATLAB, download MATLAB. Participation, I don't think I've talked about this. Each week is 10 points, adds up to 150 points total, 15% of your grade. That will be based on two things. One, do you show up? Two, if I decide to ask a review question from our previous class, I'll post it on Halo and I'll have you guys answer it. So those two methods I will use for participation. So that's a total of 29% between projects and participation now. Exams are worth 35%, right, 35%. The first two are worth 115 points. The next one is worth 120 points. They are not cumulative in the sense that you will see repeat questions from the previous section, but in general, calculus is cumulative in the sense that you need to know what was going on in the previous sections to build upon them so you know what you're doing now. Um, and the homework, 36%. Now, I believe the homework grade includes both the practice, practice exams and the actual homework itself. So that is 36% of your entire grade. And I believe that should add up to be 100%. So that should take care of the syllabus. As far as my office hours, I do not have them set yet. I will talk about those in class. I do have numerous office hours, so we should be fine on that. If for whatever reason the hours that I have set do not work, feel free to ask for other hours. We can meet via Zoom. There is also the Math Center, which I will talk about more on the first day, where you can always go in. I believe it is open from 9 to 5, Tuesday, to Friday. It might be Monday to Friday, but I'll double check that. But you can always go in there. There'll be IAs. There'll be uh, at least some faculty members in there. But there should be at all times during the day to help you with your questions. I think that takes care of the syllabus again. Um, as far as messaging me, right? this is not the right email. Clayton.ragsdale.gcu.edu will be the right email. But I try to reserve my email for... Um, faculty. If you would like to message me, the best way to do so is to go into Halo and go to messages. I normally respond within 24 hours. If for whatever reason I do not, don't take it personal. I'm not avoiding you. Just bug me in class or the next time you see me or feel free to spam me with messages. That's okay. I don't mind that. Um, so messages. Let's go back to our class. We have our calendar, it shows two weeks at a time. All right, so you'll notice I believe our first project isn't due till the fifth week. And our first exam is until the sixth week. All right, so you got some time. Announcements are here, so if there's any other important announcements, I will post them here. I believe it should notify you. Again, the syllabus is here. Grade book for you guys who wanna look at your grades. You should have this as well. I believe it's following the same format as the student version. Uh, work list. I don't know what work list is, so we won't click on it. Discussion form. This is what I should be using. I think I'll use this for participation if I want to do a review question. And class questions. You guys can ask questions here. Um, I, never had, I've, I haven't had students really utilize the class questions, but if it is something pertaining to everyone, feel free to ask it there. If you think it'll help everyone, that's fine. Um, but again, you could always feel free to message me if you want to do it that way. As far as class resources, right? this link is not currently working. It will be working by the time the semester starts. But this is where we can get our textbook for free. This is where we can download MATLAB for free. Again, please download. Um, and there's a MATLAB tutorial right below it. I believe everything else is for me down here. Topic 1, Topic 2, Topic 3, Instructor Only. Yeah, so this is my stuff. I believe that is it for Halo. Again, uh, should be fairly intuitive on how to do things. So again, the first day will just be class intros. We will jump in to uh, learning material from day one. I know most of us like the easy day of syllabus day, which I just kind of did. I'll talk about it in class again if someone hasn't seen the video. Uh, but because we are so jam packed with content in this course, I we just don't have a day to waste just on having a nice syllabus day. I mean, it would be it would be nice just to sit there, talk about the syllabus and call it a day, but 
Unfortunately, we don't have that luxury. Uh, time is not on our side. So on that first day, we will be learning material. I think that is all I have for you. If you do have questions for me, feel free to message me on Halo as soon as you have access. Um, as I continue to go here, I will make videos again for all of the material that we cover in this course. Again, it's predominantly Calc 3. I'll label it accordingly. Um, but if you have questions on the material, hopefully you guys can use that as a resource and always feel free to message me on Halo. Um, never want to feel like you guys can't reach out for help um, if you have questions. So I think that's all I got for you guys. I will see you the first day. Hope you guys are enjoying your summer and I will see you soon. Thanks everyone for watching.